Hello my little shortcakes, I'm Tomoyo and welcome to my channel! So today I wanted to make a little video about my goals and my resolution for 2021. Um, I usually post them on my blog but this year I wanted to make something a little bit different so um, I usually do like a review and some goals and resolution but I already made the review of my year 2020 on my blog so the link is in the description below so you can take a look at that if that interests you as I said I usually post my goals and resolutions too but this year I wanted to make a little video uh, with my resolutions and my goals um, I am someone that usually set up a lot of resolution for myself because I am very like goal oriented in life and that's something that helped me uh, in the daily so um, this year I only have I only have seven goals and for someone that usually have like closer to 20 uh, this is something kind of unusual for me um, but I hope I'm going to get through them more easily this time because of that I'm going to open up about something very personal um, some of these goals might seem like trivial to some but um, this year I well, in 2020, I fought a long battle with anxiety and depression. Uh, I am still fighting it uh, right now, so um, things have been hard for me. And like, I really want to strive to become a better person and to take better care of myself. So just a warning if you think that my goals might seem trivial, but this is something that I really want to strive for. So uh, my first resolution is to have a more stable daily routine. Uh, that includes my morning routine, uh, I usually do meditate, I do yoga, I do daily positive affirmations. I also like to read like personal development books and journal so I want to have a more stable morning routine and for my night routine it's mostly like avoiding to go on my phone, taking more care into unwinding after my days so I can sleep better and sleep with a better mindset I want to say. My second goal is focus on creating content more regularly. This kind of go hand in hand with having a more stable routine because if I have a more stable routine, I'm going to be able to focus greater part of my day creating content. Uh, I really want to get back into posting regularly on my blog. Uh, I used to be posting like two or three times a week sometimes and it's something that I really miss. Also, uh, I want to focus on posting more regularly on Instagram and TikTok. Both of them will be in the description below if you want to follow me. And I, of course, want to grow this YouTube channel because it keeps me motivated, it helps me like dress up prettily on the daily, so it makes me happy. I really enjoy doing, doing it uh, more than I thought and it's been bringing me a lot of joy and confidence and this is something that I want to keep on striving for, for that. I hope to post at least once every two weeks but if I can it may be like once a week if I am able to sustain it but I want to post at least two videos a month so I hope you will support me into that journey this year. I recently kind of got more into like skincare or skincare routines and I want to keep on doing that. 
uh, I'm bad with keeping like daily habits so I really want to focus more on that this year uh, I've also been dabbling into like Korean and Japanese uh, beauty and skincare which is something I never was into surprisingly I ordered some products that I really look forward to trying and I hope that will motivate me into having a more serious skincare on the beauty side of things, I also want to have better hair care. Like my hair, I've been pretty bad lately. Like it's been thinning a lot. I want to cut them. I have been trying to grow my hair for like at least 10 years. Now I realize that it's way more damaged than before so I think I'm going to have to cut it sadly but I'm going to try and focus more on my hair care this year also on the beauty side of things uh, I used to be someone that enjoyed like manicures and having like pretty nails and pretty hands so I want to focus on painting my nails more often this is something that i also really enjoy and that helps me like unwind while i do it this is something that i really want to do more this year last year i also kind of got more into makeup so i really want to work on improving my makeup skills uh, i would say that i was at an okay level like i don't think that I, I was bad with makeup before but I definitely like try to do more intricate eyeshadow design I really want to get better at makeup and trying some new styles and stuff this is something that I've also been working on a lot in 2020 but I want to keep focusing on it I want to focus more on like my home and my space and trying to have better care of my environment, making sure that things don't get too dirty or too messy. I also want to focus on making my home more cute and more lifestyle Lolita, if, if that's possible, because it's already pretty like extra. But I want to focus on improving things that could be more lifestyle Lolita or more cute. Uh, this is something that really really brings me joy. It helps me having the will to do things around my home. So this is something that I really want to do for this year. Uh, I usually have a lot of like material or closet style type goals usually but uh, this time I want to say that I'm pretty satisfied with how my closet is doing right now so this year I want to focus on replacing very used or broken things that I have in my closet and these two things are my lilac bag that I have that has been broken since at least two or three years I really want to replace it and treat myself with the new lilac bag for Lolita fashion and I also want to have a proper pair of fairy case shoes uh, I've been wearing the same pair that I've had for probably at least eight or nine years i really want to treat myself with a nice pair of fairy key shoes i really enjoy like sneakers type shoes for fairy key so i really want to treat myself with that this year and i also want to get at least one piece from my wish list i've been eyeing to get something from baby the star shine bright lately uh, i've been really wanting like the um, Usakumia uh, pochette or I've also been eyeing to get like a plain pink jumper skirt maybe with some pretty lace or something that I can wear with Hime Lolita also. This year I also want to focus on embracing my Lolita and kawaii lifestyle. I've been like not shy 
about it, but I've been trying to make it a little bit more toned down during the last years. And this is not something that I want to do. I want to embrace what I love and embrace who I am. And I want to live more my life the way I want to, even if it's like too extra for normies, I guess. This year I really want to plunge more into that and embrace it and celebrate it and feel happy with myself and my lifestyle again, even if it's not something that is common. And along with that, uh, I also realized that I love more the kawaii side of things instead of more like the perfect like textbook lifestyle lolita more on the classic side like i'm a sweet lolita i don't dabble into other styles so much so i really enjoy cute things i really enjoy like kawaii things i enjoy animes i enjoy cute plushies and cute snacks and things like that so i really want to make my lolita lifestyle fit more into my own taste instead of trying to be like the perfect textbook lifestyle lolita so that was it for my goals and my resolution for this year if you have some goals or some resolution you can share them with me in the comments also don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you aren't yet it means a lot to me and it lets me know that you enjoy my content so until next time please stay safe Take care and we'll see each other in my next video, my little shortcakes. Bye!